everybody welcome back to my channel so um, I'm just doing my first uh, video well for first video for YouTube and other social medias for 2019 and I went for my full coverage glam uh, now for this video I've used some of my new products and some of my old like all time trustworthy products so I'm going to start with by priming my face uh, and I'm using a uh, Guerlain's um, uh, primer oil mixed with MAC prep and prime uh, you don't have to use two three primers it's just I wanted to try the Guerlain one uh, for a very long time I had the sample sitting right next uh, in front of me so I just thought why not let's just try it today and it was actually good and I'm loving this product from Fersali it's to actually blur out your pores uh, and you only use it with the area I'm currently applying so you're supposed to put just few drops and then just literally um, press it in uh, which I did and I didn't apply this all over I did notice a difference after applying this product it does make my pores look much like like, like it really fills my pore which is amazing and for my foundation I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow uh, mixed with Maybelline Fit Me now I only realized afterwards the Maybelline foundation was the matte one and <laughs> Um, I mixed that with the infallible pro glow but let me tell you one thing it didn't make my face overly matte or overly glowing but the coverage was so good and the whole the base was looking so flawless I was really surprised this was actually an accident I was supposed to pick the Maybelline fit me but I ended up putting the matte one but again as I said there's some surprises in this video and I love it um, so for the eyes I'm using the dose of colors um, eyeshadow palettes and uh, the first one I'm using is the baked browns and I'm picking up the shade tea light and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this shade and uh, um, I absolutely love these eyeshadows they are so super buttery so easy to work with so easy to blend and the shades are so so beautiful every single palette in this world is absolutely amazing I absolutely love it um, and for my crease I'm using the shade outdoorsy from the same palette um i went usually i have my crease shade is actually much lighter than what i'm applying right now but i just wanted a little bit more warmth in my eye look uh, because i'm going for a very bold lash line lower lash line so i just wanted to like balance everything accordingly um and now i'm picking up the shade uh, this one is from the sienna sassy palette and uh, this is the second shade from that palette um, it's called Bossy um, and I'm applying that just below the uh, outdoorsy so just above my actual crease but just like a just giving a 3d effect to my uh, as to my transition shade and now I'm picking up the shade um, this is from the baked brown palette and it's the shade called let me just see I had it right in front of me uh, yeah rock bottom that's the shade I'm applying and I'm just putting this right into my crease uh, and to do that I'm actually using the brush which came with the um, the dose of color eyeshadow palette um, I was quite surprised actually I really like that brush even though it's really small and everything but I quite like it um, and now I'm just going to put the shade bra no wait <laughs> um, I'm just putting the shade the really uh, I believe it's called foxy uh, that's the shade I'm applying on the outer V of my eye um, this is a pretty intense um, no it's not this uh, actually wait a second it's not uh, foxy Way, 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 way. So yeah, 
oh sorry it is it is foxy in my outer V and I left the rest of my lid empty because I'm going to go back with tea light and I'm just going to um, apply this on the inner corner of my eye and to the remaining part of my lid and I'm using my makeup sponge one wedges from my no makeup no no make no life uh, subscription box they are supposed to be used wet or dry but I'm only using dry and I'm just using it my RCMA makeup uh, translucent powder to just kind of like give myself a guideline and clean the area just to get the idea how my shape is going and if, I, if anything needs to be fixed and uh, now I'm just applying the tea light uh, eyeshadow with the more of a, a precision brush to my lid for my eyeliner I'm using Guerlain's eyeliner um, uh, Guerlain's liquid eyeliner this is my all-time favorite like my holy grail I tried many 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 eyeliners but that's the only one I always go back to um, and for my mascara I'm using L'Oreal uh, voluminous butterfly mascara uh, my all-time favorite and uh, for the lashes I'm gonna use Huda Beauty lashes in style Scarlet uh, while I just put the glue on my lashes while it's drying I'm just doing my second base um, second coat of my base and I'm only using the infallible pro glow um, I didn't put any Maybelline uh, foundation I just uh, topped it up with the pro glow um, and for my contour I'm using Laura, uh, Laura Mercier's contour palette contour and highlight palette I believe this is in shade medium uh, and I'm using the uh, contour pal uh, contour number one and two two shades mixed together um, and I'm using my artist um, brush to contour my nose at ease I believe <laughs> And for the concealer, I'm using Zuer Cosmetics Full Coverage Concealer. I will write down all my shades in the description box below. Um, now these are the shades for my skin tone, but you should uh, you need to figure out which one is yours. <laughs> um, if you want to use the same shade, go ahead. If you think you're the pretty much same one to uh, like my kind of skin tone, then it's brilliant. Um, and I'm applying this all over. I want another highlight now this is a very full coverage concealer i think after the tarte cosmetic i actually like this even more than shape tape because shape tape sometimes really creased under my eyes it just makes my under eye area very dry for some reason but this doesn't do that it just still gives me the same effect actually better effect than that but it doesn't dry my face and to blend my contour i'm using sigma 3d kabuki brush uh, I am actually quite in love with this brush to blend my cream contours um, it's, it's super easy to work with and the way the shape is is so easy to blend and for the rest of the face I'm using my beauty blender um, and I'm just uh, blending all my concealer now I'm just applying my lashes now Huda Beauty lashes are super good you don't have to play around much with them they go on super easily um, and for my waterline I'm using Rimmel's uh, eyeline, eyeline, uh, <laughs> eye pencil and this is in shade amber and uh, to set all my face I'm using my air spun uh, translucent powder I was going to use MAC but I just wanted to give like a drugstore option because you don't have to spend some time a lot of money to find that like any because there are a lot of drugstore products which are as good as buying a high-end so this is my drugstore option which I really absolutely love it it sets my face really well and um, I don't think so it's too warm or anything it, it goes pretty much with most of the skin tones I think well it's translucent but sometimes some translucent powder has some warm tones uh, but this one is pretty good and to set my contour I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury contour and highlight palette and this is in shade medium and I'm going to set my whole face using the same contour well same bronzer shade I think it's a contour yeah no it is a contour shade and 
I love this palette. You can see the state of this palette. I I absolutely love it because it's get, it's been loved so much. <laughs> it's always in my hand. Most of the time when I'm doing my makeup, this is the only palette I pick up even for the mirror. I absolutely love this palette, especially the highlight. For my lower lash line, I'm using Makeup Geek a foiled eyeshadow. As I said, I will write down the exact shade uh, in the description box below. Um, I had these foiled eyeshadows for a very long time and I absolutely love the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. The first ever foiled eyeshadow I used was Makeup Geek. Um, they are super good. For a price, they are super, super good. Uh, other option is Natasha Denona palettes, but they are on a bit of a high end and a pricey side. But if you're looking for something affordable and good for your pocket, go for Makeup Geek one. They're as good as Natasha Denona, I think and to for the blush I'm using my Too Faced uh, Love Flush palette and I just picked up the shade Oh Baby from which is kind of like a skin brownie she not too dark brown but very like a skin tone kind of thing it, it just just complemented my eyes really well because I didn't want it did something too much um, like too dark or too intense I just wanted the whole focus to be on the eyes um, and for highlight I'm using my um, dose of colors Fugo um, highlighter it's absolutely lovely now I had this uh, from the first collaboration uh, which Daisy and Katie did because I believe the Fugo was continue kind of thing in the second collaboration as well but I had it for a from the first one I absolutely love this love it love it love it it goes so well with my skin tone actually shows more this one than the other one for my lip liner I'm using my by Terry perfect nude lip liner this is my all-time favorite lip liner I absolutely love this lip liner I have use i like i like I've, i had used so many by now i think this is my 20th or 21st but this is the only nude liner i always go back to this is so so good and for my lipstick i'm using a maybelline color sensation this is shade honey beige seven to eight i believe um this lipstick i had it for so long and this is like there was a time when I was only using this lipstick I wasn't not even trying anything new I will always will put this shade because for some reason it goes really good with my makeup and my skin tone absolutely love it and to set everything in place I'm using my most trustworthy most lovable product which is from Amore Pacific this is their um, uh, skin moisturizing hydration mist um, absolutely love this i use this before my makeup even to set my makeup even in during the day if i need to hope you guys like this tutorial if you do do not forget to give me a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and i shall see you guys in my next video love you all take care have a good day